Hey guys, Maple Tail here. Welcome to episode 17 of my Cattails Wildwood story playthrough. Today I'd like to attend the Winter Festival, which is just a couple days away. Let's get into it. You know, I'm just real content in life. Been thinking a lot about the blessings I've got, and there's too many to count. You're one of them, you know? It's nice to have you around, Moon. Oh, that's sweet. I feel as though a great burden upon my soul has been lifted. The very air seems lighter, colors seem brighter. Can it be? Is the wildwood healed at long last? It has been steeped in corruption and darkness for far too long. I think we'll bring Talon with us today. As they help with taking over territory and I plan to do a little bit of wandering around. Oh, speak of the devil. Eureka, that is a tremendous amount of herbs. Did you collect all these yourself, Talon? This will fill my stock for days. Well, it is all about efficiency, you see. If you don't have to focus on gathering herbs, you can focus on healing patients. Healing is your specialty. You shouldn't have to waste your time foraging when you can do greater things with your talents. You can also use these herbs for your science experiments. Your research may very well bring new knowledge that will benefit us all. Thank you, Talon. It is much appreciated. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, hello there, Moon. Look at this prodigious pile of herbs that Talon collected on my behalf. Isn't it the largest pile of herbs you've ever seen a cat gather in a single day? Yeah, sure is. Truly, Talon, you've outdone yourself. Thank you again for your contribution. It's nothing. Don't mention it. And on that note, I will now take my leave. My, my. What an excellent collection. Golden seal, marigold, excellent for healing. Catnip, always fun. Oh. One must be careful with this snake lily. Oh, what's this? A single red rose? How interesting. <gasps> ah, are we finally getting their, their romance? I'm very excited. Maybe this will be a wedding episode too. Oh, <gasps> speaking of. <laughs> oh, hey Moon, I wanted to stop by and ask your advice about something important. It's just that you've been a really good friend to me, so I trust your opinion. I suppose I should come right out and tell you what I have come to ask. Lately, I've been getting to know Fliss pretty well. Do you think... Well, do you suppose I would stand a chance with Fliss if I asked them? Well, you know. To marry me? Absolutely. You really think so? You think Fliss would say yes? I really do. Wow, you really think so? I appreciate the confidence boost. That's exactly what I needed to work up my courage. I'm going to ask Fliss to marry me. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks, Moon. Ah, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for many episodes. <laughs> All right, let's head out properly. Couple battles we could hit up today. And I'd like to try to forge some more berries and do some hunting. Have to wait a couple more days to forge some proper herbs though. Oh, and we've got blueberries to deliver to Buttercup. I was hoping to find the legendary beetle this winter, but so far I have not seen it. I'm not even sure I know what that one looks like. I'll have to keep a close eye out. Yeah, we definitely should do the battles today because I'm still trying to collect 60 void marrow and that'll help at least a little bit. Let's get them. All right, what is that? Three void marrow? Not terrible. Still a long way to go though. Oh, there goes Talon. Oh no. That is the problem with bringing more low level allies. We didn't even get any void marrow for that. Come on. Right, one more try for void marrow. This is a little bit dangerous. <laughs> There we go. And a little bit of void marrow. Not too bad, not too bad. I think I'll head back to camp. It's getting dark and we finished all the battles for the day. Oh, what's this? Bob and Buttercup? I don't know if I've seen this cutscene. Now, what are you doing out here all alone? I know a cat like you can take care of themselves, but you sure look lonely to me. I, er, um, 
Me, I was just out by the river doing some fishing. Nothing too fancy. Didn't even see a single fish. Sorry about that. If I had known... Now, don't you worry about me. Ain't nothing to be sorry about. Sometimes there just ain't no fish to be found. Oh, that's a big fish. No, you don't understand. You didn't find any fish because I already caught them all. That's my bad. Oh my god, look at them. Look at them all. Oh, I'll be. That's great, Buttercup. I didn't know you liked fishing too. I... er, yeah. Do you want some? If you don't mind sharing. Of course. Help yourself, Bob. They're better fresh anyways. Look at them. That's adorable. Getting all the cute little romantic cutscenes today. Oh, right. Okay, I have blueberries for Buttercup. So we should go talk to them properly, too. Wow, those are the bluest blueberries I've ever seen. Do you think that means they'll be tastier than average? Hope you don't mind if I eat them now. They look delicious. I appreciate you rounding these up for me. Any time. That was a nice easy one. Hi, Jag. Didn't even see you today. Everything feels different when you're a married cat. I used to live day to day. Never thought much about the future. But now it's all I can think about. My head is swimming with so many ideas for what I want to accomplish. I know we can work together to enrich our lives. Neat, huh? Yeah. <gasps> Hello? Moon, Moon, guess what? I asked Fliss to marry me, and they said yes! Can you believe it? We wanted you to be the first to know, Moon. I heard your advice was instrumental in bringing us together, after all. Truth is, I had really started to fall for Alabaster, too, and I was so happy when they asked the question. We're so happy together. In fact, we're going to get married later today. We're still rounding everyone up who wants to join us for the ceremony. We'd be honored if you'd attend, Moon. What do you say? Of course. That's wonderful. Let's tell the others and get this wedding ceremony underway. Let's do it. Oh, look at everyone joining us. That's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy for them. I view Lainey as a sibling now. It's interesting how different they are from Fliss. Honestly, Lainey used to bother me when we first met, but they have matured much recently. I'm very proud of them. That's sweet. It's a good little family. Between you and me, my health has been on the decline for a while now. I'm not sure how much longer I'll be around to protect the Minnow domain. Uh, no. I'm counting on you, Moon. I trust you not to let us down. Don't share that with anyone. I don't want them to think I'm weak. I'm not weak. I know. Let's put our squads out for the day. Let's try to get this tile. We've almost finished. Maybe over here still. Mm, what are we trying to collect? Could go for more treasure. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, our herbs are ready. Just in time for winter to be over, but <laughs> still good. Three star ones too. Oh my goodness. We'll store a few of those. Maybe I'll plant these mystery seeds too. I'm a little curious about those. And let's bring our void marrow to the temple. We have a fair bit of it right now. All planted. Most cats are not awake yet, so I might just grab Talon again. Alright, more Void Marrow. Slowly getting that down. Still need to find those Queens of the Night, too. When I was alone, I once dwelt for many months on an island, both in my mind and in reality. I shed something of myself in that place. When I left, I felt as though I had lost something important. Something that was a part of me. I cannot begin to unravel what it was that I lost. No. Oh. Do you have anything to give you? How do you feel about peppermint? All right, let's get this battle going. One void marrow. Oh, that's a rare bird we just scared away. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, I'm almost out of health here. Gotta be a little bit careful. Maybe I'll head back to camp so Crampy can heal us. I don't really want to waste what few herbs we have. You really went all the way out of your way to get one of these for my birthday? Cool, that's the best gift I've gotten all day. You're very welcome, I didn't even know it was your birthday. <laughs> you can push cats out of the way and treat them rudely, as long as they know it's your birthday. They tend to cut you a little slack. Besides, if you just had some catnip, everyone knows to steer clear. Now watch out, Moon, you're in my zone. Crampy, there you are. Yeah, we'll take a full heal. It's not that expensive. Right, winter 10. That's festival day. Just gotta wait till 10 a.m. Oh. Oh yeah. It's our first year. Done. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Oh, Fliss, the queen of the night. That is lovely. I'm writing to say thank you for your friendship to both myself and Alabaster. I just know that we will be very happy together. Included in this letter is a small token of my appreciation. That is the best thing you possibly could have given us. Thank you. Three more Void Marrow. One Queen of the Night. I was once your sworn enemy. Our fights were unfortunate. But you have to admit they were the stuff of legends. I am not ashamed to admit that I enjoy combat. However, I must find healthier ways to express my interest. Perhaps honorable spars, rather than unprovoked aggression. <laughs> Guess it's our, probably our last snowfall of the year. I'll miss the winter a little bit. Let's end it with a nice festival. Do you suppose we've seen the end of the snow for the year? I was just saying. I hope so. Ember told me that bad weather makes it hard to source some items for the shop. That must be difficult for them. We'll all be better off when it warms up. Don't lick anything or your tongue will get stuck. That's what Ember told me anyways. <laughs> Are you ready to bring in the new year, Moon? It certainly has been an eventful year for me. I'm sure it was for you as well. Where will the next one take you? All I can think about is our nice warm den. I'm going to nestle in tonight and try to stave off the chill. That sounds lovely. Can you feel it? The sun is about to return and with it comes springtime. There'll be good hunting and plenty of fights to get involved in. I'm ready for things to return to normal. I'm done with all this snow and ice. Well, that's how I feel about real life right now. My mask keeps my nose snug and warm. What a practical piece of clothing. I believe every cat should own one. I got pelted with a snowball, and I don't know who did it. Oh, poor buttercup. You ever had a snow cone? I'm thinking of putting together a snow cone business and selling them next year. Wouldn't be too hard to throw together. Am I cold? No, not Zephyr. My majestic fur is superior to most cats. Why, are you cold, Moon? That does not surprise me. What? I'm way fluffier than you. Are you kidding me? I can see my own breath. Whoa, it's like I'm a fire-breathing dragon. That's so cool. The lights are so shiny and pretty. I feel a strong urge to bat at them. Well, I'm freezing my paws off and miserable. Cool party. Thanks for putting this on. I'll have to share my thoughts with Coco, too. I guess I'll stick around, though. Nothing better to do around here. Oh, Charlotte. <laughs> Year's end is a busy season for my shop. I have a lot of paperwork to do. Gotta update my spreadsheets. It's nice to have some time to pause and reflect. Life's been pretty good to me. I have a great home and an exciting place, and I get to wake up every morning and try to make myself into a better version of myself. I'm living the dream, you know? Let's hope next year is just as good. This is miserable. Who wants to spend all day in the cold anyways? Rumor has it that Ember gets all the merchandise for their shop for dirt cheap through a secret supplier. I once saw a giant shipment of cargo boxes outside the shop at 3 a.m. By the time the sun came up, all the boxes were gone and nowhere to be found, so maybe it's true. Some cats use this time to reflect on the past, but I believe we must always look to the future. There's wisdom in plotting a new course. I resolved to become wildly rich and famous in the coming year. What about you? Shoot, I really wanted to buy something tasty with my festival tokens this year, but I'm one token short. Guess I'll go hungry till I get home. Pretty sure I have a lizard laying around in the den somewhere. Oh well, how about a mouse? Nose frozen yet? You can warm up by participating in the games. Running around a bit is the perfect remedy. Yeah, let's do it. 
Today we're having a snowball fight. A new round is just about to begin. Ooh, Jag and Glimmer. It's almost time for another snowball fight. I think the players are ready. Throw snowballs at your adversaries to score points. Watch out for incoming snowballs and don't get hit. Your opponents today will be Jag and Glimmer. Now, I don't want to see any funny business out there. I'll report you for cheating if I see it. Fair warning. Oh ho ho, this will be delectable. Very different reactions. Okay, sounds like all the players are ready. Here we go. Ah, uh, let's do this. Sorry, Jag, I want to win. Don't remember how many points you need to get four tokens. We'll just do our best. Going well so far. Ah, oh, got a little bit hit. Still, not bad. Uh, a few more seconds. Let's try to get more points. And that's it. Moon, you earned four festival tokens. Oh, yes. Okay. I'll do that a couple more times just to get as many tokens as possible. All right. Got plenty of tokens with all that. Let's check out the shop. Not enough for the power paw, but definitely enough for some clothes. I want to get the antlers for sure because that's one of my favorite items. And I don't know if I've ever bought the halos. Well, maybe I'll give that a go. Okay, we'll leave the festival. That was a lovely winter. And I think I'm ready for spring and year two. There we go. It's official. Whoa, I forgot how green everything was. Oh, new items from Ember. I'll have to check that out. Ah, yes, the Herbalist workbench. I think that's the new thing. I have to save up if we want to buy it, though. But I think I will leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed episode 17 of my Cattails Wildwood story playthrough. Next time, I think I want to focus on gathering herbs and food so we can take on up to level 75 in Mines number two. I'm so happy that we got Alabaster and Fliss married. We'll hopefully get kittens for them soon as well, and for me and Jag. And yeah. I'll probably see you next Tuesday for a another episode, if I get a chance to film, or next Thursday for my usual art content. Bye!